I'd like to show you how to install and set up SAS in Dreamweaver for Bootstrap 4. This method allows for a straightforward and pretty clean installation that won't break the built-in Bootstrap tools that are in Dreamweaver. First, download the install folder from the Get Bootstrap site. After you've downloaded, unzip this folder and open it up. Inside, there's a bunch of stuff. You'll want to find the SCSS file and copy it. Inside the site that you're making, in that folder, paste those files. There's a bunch of stuff in here. We're actually going to be adding a few things. Next, I'm going to create a couple SAS files inside of Dreamweaver. I'll need to create a site. So I'm going to go to Site, New Site. I'm just going to call this uh, My New Site. And I'm going to browse to that folder and hit Choose. There's my SAS files. I'll need to create a couple new files, as I mentioned. So I'm going to go to File, New. SCSS and hit create. I'm going to save this file as custom underscore styles dot SCSS. And one thing that's important is that you go ahead and add an underscore in front of here because you don't want this to compile into a folder as you'll see in a little while. This will live inside of this SCSS folder. Hit save. I'll also need to create a new SAS file as well for my variables. I'll save this file as underscore custom underscore variables dot scss. And last but not least, I need to create one more for my bootstrap. Now it's important here that you name this just as so. If you don't, Dreamweaver components won't work properly in the insert panel. Now that I have this, I need to make references to these two SAS files and to my bootstrap that's in here. To make references, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my custom variables, import the bootstrap installation, and import my custom styles. When I save this file, a new CSS file will get generated by Dreamweaver because Dreamweaver pre-compiles this for me. I need to modify this though, because I don't want this to install inside this SCSS folder. I want it to install in a CSS folder. So I can go back to my site setup and there's a CSS preprocessor section and there's also a source output. I can have that defined in a custom folder and I'm going to go ahead and create my new CSS file. Hit choose and save. And now if I were to make some changes in my bootstrap file, which that's terrible, let me remove that. If I were to make some changes in my bootstrap file, when I save this, in my site, my bootstrap 4.3.1 will install and update every time I make changes in my custom variables or my custom styles. Keeping the CSS folder with our bootstrap file will allow these bootstrap components to work properly and not bug out. In this little example site that I put together, I have an index page that currently has bootstrap components and other things inside this page that I've already made. You'll notice that the CSS is referencing the style sheet that gets created by the SAS files. So if I want to make changes to my CSS, I don't want to change this bootstrap file. Instead, I'm going to go to the SAS files that I created. For example, custom styles. So for example, let's say I wanted to turn on my logo. I'm going to uncomment that. I already created this stuff. And maybe do some customization on my Jumbotron that I installed. Maybe add some customization on this button that I made or whatever. Those kind of changes will get made in the custom styles SAS file. If you want to create new CSS styles, overwrite component styles like cards or carousels, or add SAS features such as mix-ins, you'll add your code in the custom style SAS file. Now, if you want to overwrite bootstrap variables or CSS styles before bootstrap SAS files load, add the code to the custom variables file. So, for example, let's say I want to change these default tag styles. I can do that here before the bootstrap file loads. I can also come in here and customize primary theme colors, secondary theme colors, and so forth. I can make new theme colors if I want to. That'll load before my bootstrap file, SAS file loads. I can also access special features such as shadows and gradients and responsive font sizes and so forth. When this file gets saved, or when this file gets saved, my bootstrap file 
is regenerated. You may also notice that there's a map file in here. This map file is something that's optional that you can set up. In your site under CSS preprocessors, if you go to the general section, you can turn on generate source map. And what this does is it creates this little map file. The benefit is that if I come to my site here and I preview this in browser, I can see my site here, but if I go to my introspection tools, this is in Chrome, normally in Dreamweaver with your bootstrap files, if you hover over something to see what CSS is being used, it just shows you the bootstrap file as you see it here. It doesn't show you the SAS file that's being referenced. So back in Dreamweaver, I've already set this to regenerate that map file. So I make a change in here. This map file should get regenerated now. And when I come back to my browser and refresh, and I go and inspect something, it'll actually show me the SAS file that's being referenced instead of just the bootstrap file. So I can make changes. Maybe I want to use this for troubleshooting or for modifying the design here in the browser. I hope this tutorial helps you in getting set up with SAS Dreamweaver.